Hey guys, what's up? It's Sammy and welcome to my first video and my first haul video of 2020. Feels so weird to say 2020. Anyways, I am going to try to get more of my clothes from thrift stores this year. It's one of my New Year's resolutions, which I'm doing a New Year's resolution video later this week, so subscribe if you want to see that. I want to start getting more sustainably sourced clothing. Um, I'm not completely quitting like fast fashion, maybe 2021. I'm just not ready to do that like financial financially yet. But I uh, am, am trying new things, going to new thrift stores, exploring thrifting a bit more. Today I am bringing you a Goodwill bins haul, or like a Goodwill outlet haul. I recently went to the Goodwill outlet in my town for the first time ever and it was absolutely crazy. Like they would unveil a bin and a bunch of people would just run to it and it was overwhelming and crazy but I actually got some of my most favorite thrift pieces ever and I didn't film anything there because I didn't think I was going to find anything. Um, but yeah, if you don't know, the, the Goodwill outlets is basically just big bins of clothes and electronics and furniture and miscellaneous stuff that Goodwill doesn't sell, so they just throw it into bins at the outlet or it's stuff that can't be sold and stuff like that. So you really have to go through it to find something good because uh, a lot of stuff, like you'll pick up a pair of jeans and there'll be a hole in the crotch and like obviously you can't get that. But if you know how to sew and you're good at like thrift flipping, it's a good place. Uh, so let's just jump into what I got. It's just random. I have it in a huge basket down here. Um, I already washed everything uh, like a week ago when I got it and I've been wearing the stuff so yeah, let's just jump right into it. The one thing that I went for the bins in search of is some men's name brand denim because I'm in search for the perfect pair of jeans and I've yet to find it at like a brick and mortar everyday regular store. So I figured why not try a thrift store and I came pretty close with these Wranglers. These are uh, authentic Wrangler jeans. Uh, they literally don't have a, let's see, they are a size 36 by 29. I can't tell you what that means. They're definitely men's jeans. They are too big on me. Like you can see these and they are like the perfect length when I cuff them to wear with my Air Forces. And I absolutely love these jeans. And like my outlet is $1.49 a pound. So uh, this is like 50 cents for these jeans. And I absolutely love them. They're my most favorite item and I've worn them every single day since I got them. And now whenever I go to Goodwill, I'm gonna be looking for Wrangler jeans because I love them. The next thing I got from the bins is this men's XXL US Polo Assassin uh, hoodie. And it has like this gray inside of the hood and it's just a blue zip up hoodie with the little tiny uh, Polo US Assassin thing. And the only thing that's wrong with it is that there's a stain inside of the hood, which honestly I have such long hair, it covers it. I don't really care. It just looks like it's like a mud or oil stain. So I don't mind that. That's probably why it was at the bins. But yeah, it's definitely not XXL. It's definitely been shrunk to no other because this just fits like a woman's medium hoodie. Uh, but I absolutely love it. And it's cool that I got this. It's like a brand, a name brand thing. And it's perfectly fine at the bins. The next thing I got is something that I am planning on thrift flipping. Uh, maybe I'll do it in a video. It is just this Levi's size medium woman's uh, like gray sweatshirt. And you won't be able to see it on camera, but there is a stain right in the front of it. So I was thinking about maybe getting a patch or maybe embroidering something, um, like some sort of like lettering across the front of it uh, to cover that stain, just because it's really a nice sweatshirt and it literally just looks like someone was eating pasta and dripped some red sauce and then tried to get it out their best and they couldn't. I also tried to get it out and I could not. I used OxyClean and everything. But yeah, this is super cute. Just a basic Levi's, you know, jumper. Okay, let's move into some t-shirts because I actually got pretty lucky in the t-shirt sweatshirt department. Uh, the first thing I got is this Vintage Records t-shirt and I just thought this was super cute aesthetic like to wear this with like a corduroy jacket over the top tucked into my jeans with my forces. I just thought it was so cute and it's a really tight baby doll style t-shirt. Um, it's definitely not supposed to be like that. It's just the fact that it's like an extra small that it fits like that. Um, but I think it's really cute nonetheless and I love this graphic. I don't know what Vintage Records is, 
um, but I will look it up before I wear it, that's for sure. Okay, the next couple things that I got, I am not 100% sure if I am keeping all of them. I know I'm keeping one or two of them, um, but if you are interested in me after you watch this video, please be sure to check out my Depop because anything that I decide that I'm not gonna get a lot of wear about, wear with, wear of, anything I'm not gonna wear a lot, I am gonna sell on my Depop. Um, so I got a lot of Harley Davidson t-shirts, surprisingly. So the first one is this one, which is the one I am definitely keeping, and it is just this uh, something something pass Harley Davidson motorcycle shirt from Shakua, Alaska. I'm sorry, I've never literally heard of this place. The back just has this man's like fishing or doing, no, he's, he's gold panning on the back in Alaska. And it's just this really beautiful like beige color. And I thought this would be super cute with like uh, a long sleeve shirt underneath it. Maybe like a red one or an orange one. I just think that's super cute. Maybe even a blue one. Um, so yeah, this is definitely a keeper for me. But then I also found two more. And this one is super cool and I think someone will appreciate this one a bit more than me, um, but it's so cool. It is this Harley Davidson Barrett's Last Grudges Harley Davidson New Mexico shirt and it has like this, it has like the Day of the Dead like decorated sugar skulls on it. On the back it just says New Mexico and it has three dancing sugar skulls wearing sombreros. <laughs> I just think that's so cool. Um, and it says it's from 2013. It's all of these have the Harley Davidson branded tag. Um, but yeah, I just thought maybe I would pick this up for someone who really loves like Day of the Dead. Um, and yeah, it's so cute. This last one I got is super unique and I legitimately was like, oh my God, when I found this. And it is this, it's, it's kind of rare because you don't usually see Harley Davidson t-shirts at the bins with the Harley Davidson logo so big on the top, but it is just this yellow and it says Harley Davidson motorcycles. And on the back it says Grizzly Harley Davidson, Missoula, Montana, and it has a grizzly bear. That's so cool. And you can tell that this shirt is like worn. Like someone has worn this shirt a lot. Let me see if I can find a year on the tag. No, there is not. Oh, it's also a 2013 Harley Davidson shirt. So yeah, that is really cute. I like that. It's so bright yellow. It's even brighter yellow than this one. That's so cool. Okay, I have some like random shirts that I just picked up because I thought maybe I could make them cute. They're not like designer brands or anything like that. They're just like cute shirts. I thought I could like DIY and make cute. So the first one I got is this Amsterdam Holland shirt and it's just this like polo, but it's sweater material. And I thought this would be so cute, like either like fully buttoned up with it like cropped or you know, maybe just tucked into jeans. I just really liked this Amsterdam logo. So that's why I got it. Um, literally cost pennies because it's so light. Next two things are sweatshirts. And uh, if you know what either of these is from, please let me know because I am unsure, but I really liked the design and the fit of them. So this one is a Lochenboro University sweatshirt and it is just this vivid bright blue color. This is in perfect condition. I really like this. Um, I don't know where Lochenboro University is. Uh, from the tag, it is, it actually says made in England on it. So this is probably an actual sweatshirt from this university. It's the, I was about to read that, but the school slogan is in Latin, so I can't, or maybe it's not. I don't know, I just realized there's a peacock on this, which is kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, that's really cool. And this next one I got just says Gordon Biersch Brewing Company, and it's like a I assume it's a beer sweatshirt, but I absolutely love the colors of the logo. It's like red and yellow or like gold and red. Uh, and it's just a beige sweatshirt. Yeah, a nice chunky beige sweatshirt. Oh, and on the hand, there's a little beer bottle, which is so cute. <laughs> we got some random things next. Okay, so this is the one thing that I got that did not fit me. And I don't know what I was thinking when I pulled this out of the bins. I guess I just saw the Lee logo and I absolutely love them. But these jeans do not fit on my body. Can you tell how tiny they are? Um, I can well, I can get them on, I can't button or zip them. And my little sister tried them on who's 13 and she can barely button and zip them. Uh, and someone wrote Haley on the pocket. So Haley, I have your jeans. Uh, what size are these? Oh, the tag is so worn. I can't even read the size. Um, I'm gonna guess they're around a US size 
five, um, but I was thinking about possibly custom painting these jeans and posting them on my Depop, uh, like Animal Crossing themed jeans, and filming it for a video and then posting them on my Depop and whoever wants them can get them um, because these are like the perfect fit mom jeans and I just don't want to just like buy them and resell them the way they are. I wanna like customize them and make them nicer. Uh, but yeah, they're Lee jeans, I love Lee jeans. It's just so sad that they're too small. They literally are so small. <laughs> So small. Okay, the next thing that I got is a dress, and I definitely got this with the intention of wearing it around Japan, because it definitely is not the style for like America or Arizona where I live, but it definitely will look cute in Japan. It is just this navy green pleated dress. Navy green? Navy green? Is that a color? <laughs> Army green dress, and it just has this like tribal detail at the bottom, and it has two large pockets on the front. And it's just like a perfect like mid calf length dress. I figured with like a black turtleneck underneath that this would be super cute. Um, and I'm totally gonna bring this with me the next time I go to Japan because it's totally in style over there. Same thing with this next skirt that I got. This totally gives me like Mamma Mia, like milkmaid vibes for some reason. I got this um, skirt. It's from the brand Longhorn Western Wear. Oh, am I a cowgirl in this? And it's just this long, tiered, like dusty blue skirt. It's absolutely adorable on. It's the flowiest skirt I've ever tried on. It literally has so much volume and bounce. And I figured like maybe just with like a white little tank top like this in the summer with like a black denim jacket, this would be super cute with like docks or something like that. Um, wow, we only have bottoms left, which is, Interesting because I usually don't have this good of luck at any thrift store with bottoms. The next thing I got are these wool rich uh, They're definitely old lady shorts, but they're just these really high waisted like mom jean shorts And I thought they would just be cute for the summer to just throw on like with this tank top this blazer these shorts my forces, you know a very simple cool outfit for the summer because I do live in Arizona. I shop for the summer year round, even if it is 30 degrees. <laughs> okay, the last thing, oh actually no, I also got this brand new. It was brand new and I was very shocked it was there. Nike sports bra from the bins, which is super cute. I like it a lot. It's white. I don't own many white sports bras that aren't like disgusting from like wearing them for a long time. So we stand that and uh, it's not gross because it was brand new. <laughs> Uh, the last thing I got are these grandpa pants and these probably are not everyone's style but they are just these super long like faux suede pleated uh, elastic on the sides grandpa pants and these are literally like the perfect trouser like high-waisted tan trouser like I would wear them with this outfit and immediately make it a bit more classy maybe throw on like a um, alligator print belt or something like that um, but yeah, these are really cute and I didn't know if they were gonna fit because they're a size 16, but with a belt, they're like that perfect oversizedness um, and I just pull them up to the skinniest part and cinch them. So cute. I just do need to get them hemmed or put a stitch in the cuff at the bottom because they're lined with silk. So when I try to uh, cuff them, it uncuffs itself, which is really um, annoying. So yeah, that was my absolutely massive thrift haul and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I absolutely loved uh, going to the bins and getting all these clothes. Remember, be sure to check out my Depop. Here is my username. I'm putting it on the screen, yes, because I forgot what it is and I'm too lazy to look, but I'll be posting anything from this haul that doesn't work out as well as some other stuff in my closet on there. Um, so yeah. Uh, if you actually like this video, please remember to like it by clicking the thumbs up. If you were not subscribed already, please be sure to subscribe below. Uh, I am really trying hard to step up my YouTube game this year in 2020 and make actually good content. So if you like this video, please be sure to stick around for some of my upcoming fashion uh, thrift videos. So yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! Yes, I'm carrying that outro into 2020.